I'm quite happy with the result here, so I'm going to expand this to finalize the trace. I'm going to show you another image now though, so I'm going to grab my artboard tool and create yet more space to work and place another image. This one is a good candidate for reduced color, but I'm going to do something else first. I'm going to use object rasterize to reduce the size of this to 150 ppi first. Its effective ppi has gone from 280 down to 150 and that should make this trace go a little bit faster. I'm going to go with a low color option as a starting point and I'm not speeding this up. This is actually just much, much quicker than the other options have been. And you know, that's not looking too bad. But let's have a look in the advanced section and see how we could improve it. You have control over paths, corners, noise, and an abutting versus overlapping method of creating paths. Let's have a look at those and see what changes we can make. If we turn path fitting down to low, then it didn't seem to make a whole lot of difference, but the paths got less precise. So zooming in, turning it back up to high, and skipping past the progress bar here, we'll see that there's now a lot more detail in each of these paths. I could produce more corners, which is going to produce sharper paths than I would get otherwise. but it's going to depend on the image as to really whether they get too much spikier or not. You can also adjust noise, and this is a noise reduction feature. So even though it's called noise, increasing the value means you get less noise. So if I push the noise reduction up, then some of these areas around here, which were in the shadows, have changed. In some ways, these are subtle things which you don't need to play with too much in an image like this. But if you're going down to a very, very low number of colors, let's say four colors, then this can make quite a difference to your eventual image. I'm going to turn a few of these settings down, but I'm going to just stop it from doing its thing first, turn preview off so I can adjust all of these uh, at once. So I've got four colors, 21% and 20. Let's turn preview back on. They went a lot quicker and the paths are a lot smoother. This is what I might want some of the time at least. But the kind of paths which I've got abutting versus overlapping can be quite important. If I choose a button, then each one of these paths, each one of these shapes that, are, that I'm going to create are exclusive and there's no other colors underneath it. If I choose overlapping, however, then it turns out that, for example, this shape would then be on top of a larger shape underneath. In the next video, we're going to expand that and take a deeper look at that.